for you. I don't understand it at all, why things like this happen. It was a tragic day for a man and woman who were on a date at Savi Island on Collins Beach. Witnesses say the woman went on to, into the river on a paddleboard and never came out. This is Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Chris Holmstrom. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office was searching the Columbia River for that woman. Jennifer Dowling was live. She was there at Savi Island. Good evening, Jennifer. Well, good evening, Chris. The Sheriff's Office says the woman was in her 20s and that the man that she had gone to the beach with was distraught after she disappeared beneath the waters. Now, we talked to those witnesses that said this might have even been one of their first dates. You're having a blast. A beautiful day at Collins Beach took a terrible turn after witnesses said a woman somehow got separated from this blue green paddleboard in the river. She uh, was swimming, trying to swim toward her board. However, Marcus Lamoureux and a woman named Jacqueline, who didn't want to be fully on camera, said they soon realized she was in trouble. She was bobbing her head and like her arms were flailing. And I was about to swim out to her. Jacqueline said she was at least 100 yards out with no life jacket. The board was going by itself on down here. and Even though Jacqueline had saved lives before as a rescue swimmer, she could only watch the boats arrive feeling helpless as her boyfriend stopped her from jumping in due to conditions in the water. The current is too strong and she just kept trying to get to her board and People out here finally started to notice and started to head out to try to get to her. And by the time they got to her, that uh, she'd gone under. This man said he also tried to find her by getting on his own jet ski and searching for 20 minutes. Finally, all he could do was to retrieve the board as search teams arrived. Very strong current. Once you get jet not too far out at all, um, it, it becomes deep very quickly and a very strong current that can that can take your legs right out from underneath you. Very important to wear a life jacket. Jacqueline said later she tried to comfort the man who had gone to the beach with the woman. It was a date. Yeah. She said they had just met online. And he's definitely in shock. It's so frustrating that we can't fix it. We need to find her family as soon as possible because she's missing. And the undersheriff says the water temperature is also very cold and can send people into a panic that can send them under the water as well. Again, this emphasizes that you should wear a life jacket and protect yourself and your family with a flotation advice when you head to the beach. Now, the sheriff is also working to notify the woman's family as that recovery effort continues. Back to you, Chris. Yeah, it's important to always wear that life jacket, Jennifer.